union activists barge into the Paris headquarters of luxury goods company LVMH and fill it with red smoke, telling the government to tax the rich more and shelve its plans to make people work longer for their pension. Violence erupted in Paris and other cities as riot police charged protesters and fired tear gas. Trade unions urged a show of force on Thursday, a day before the Constitutional Council rules on the legality of a bill that will raise the state pension age by two years to 64. It was the 12th day of nationwide protests against President Emmanuel Macron's pension reform proposal since mid-January. There are millions of people on the streets. There's no reason why they shouldn't listen to what people have to say. We don't want to work until 64. We expect the president to be more open-minded towards the population, but he speaks to the French, whether young people or ultimately the entire population. We would like him to see us demonstrate and come out of his palace, in fact. Striking workers disrupted garbage collection in Paris and blocked river traffic on the Rhine in eastern France. If the council approves the bill, possibly with some caveats, the government will be entitled to promulgate it. It'll hope that closes a long chapter of sometimes violent protests. But demonstrators said they would keep up the fight even if the council gave a green light. They want a referendum on the bill or for it to go back to parliament. The industrial action has lost some steam though. Thinner crowds have rallied in the last few weeks, compared with the more than a million strong numbers seen early on. Oh,